Hello my dear friends welcome back to the channel and if you are new welcome to the channel so in this video we are going to find out the forced response of a linear constant coefficient differential equation and if you don't know what it is then go to the previous video of this playlist and you will know what it is and also you will get to know about natural response or zero state response also so in this video we are going to find out the forced response of the system so let's discuss some basics so I have discussed about this in our previous video that this is the forced response and today we are going to find out this y f of n. So let's start the video. So let's consider a question to find the forced response or the zero state response of the given equation that is y n pi by 6 and here they have given and also initial conditions are so this is our question that today we are going to solve so what is the first step to do while writing the answer we will write what are given things in our question so i will not write now we will start solving it so, so as we know to find out the forced response the initial conditions are going to kept as zero and the input response are going to be considered but we know that this forced response y of n is considered of two things that is the homogeneous equation and one more that is the particular equation and to find out the homogeneous equation we have to follow the steps that were for finding the natural response so we will find out first this homogeneous equation so first for zero input response we will consider the input responses as zero and we will only take the output equation as equal to zero and now we will solve this homogeneous equation this is a second order homogeneous equation so as for general form of homogeneous is is y h of n is equals to lambda to the power n so we will substitute this in this equation let's consider this equation as 2 and this as 1 then this as 3 so we will substitute 3 in 1 substitute 3 in 2 because we are going to keep this in 2 then we will get lambda to the power n minus 5 by 6 lambda to the power n minus 1 plus 1 by 6 lambda to the power of n minus 2 equal to 0 after taking this lambda to the power n minus 2 as common we will get lambda square minus 5 by 6 lambda plus 1 by 6 and is equals to 0 so we will consider this equation as 0 and if i take this 6 as lcm then i'll get and if i take 6 as common then i'll get this equation and after solving this equation i'll get lambda values as 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 so in this case also the roots are real and discrete so what so here we got the roots as real and discrete so what will be the homogeneous equation y of h of n is equals to c1 as we have two lambdas lambda 1 to the power of n plus c2 lambda to the power n n so this is equals to c1 1 by 2 power n plus c2 1 by 3 power n so this is the homogeneous equation we do not need to solve c1 and c2 values for now so the homogeneous equation is c1 1 by 2 power n plus c2 1 by 3 to the power of n so this is our y h of n now we will calculate the particular solution for this i will discuss a table after that we will solve this question so to find the particular solution there is a table first we will on the left hand side we will take the input that is x of n and on the right hand side we will take the particular solution that is y p of n so if the input is a that is step then we will write the particular solution as k and if this input is a and m power n then the solution will be k m power n if the input is k a n to the power of capital m then the output will be k naught n to the power of m plus k1 n to the power of m minus 1 plus so on up till k m 
it's like a summation of those things now if the input is a to the power of n and n to the power of m then the output will be like we are just multiplying this thing and we will write the same thing over here so on k to the power km now if the equation is a cos omega n or a sin omega n then what is the particular solution then we will write k1 cos omega n plus k2 sin omega n even if the input is this or this we will write this only so this is a table to find the particular solution of various inputs and we will apply this while solving the problems as we have discussed in the table let's now find out the particular solution of our question in our question we got the x of n value right the x of n value was is equals to 2 to the power of n and u of n so what is the particular solution of this equation this as you can see is equals to m to the power of n and this is unit only na so 1 so this is equals to m to the power of n and this is a now we can write the particular solution of this as m to the power of n and this is equals to k now this particular solution is 2 to the power of n and equal to k this is for all n is equals to greater than or equal to 0 now we have to find out the k value how can we do that now we will substitute this equation uh, in equation 1 that we got in the question so the equation that we considered as equation 1 is the given equation in the question so this is the equation 1 now we will substitute this value in this y of n values so let's do that in another paper so this was the equation now we have to substitute uh, this uh, x of n is equals to 2 to the power of u of n and y of n is equals to 2 to the power of n and into k now we have to substitute this then we will get 2 to the power of n into k minus 5 by 6 k into 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus here 1 by 6 then k 2 to the power of n minus 2 and this is equals to x of n uh sorry 2 of 2 to the power of n and u of n now we have to substitute this n value so that none of these equations will get vanished so how can we do that so this n value is taken in such a way that this unit step value should not become zero that means we should not get u of zero we should always get u of one or greater than that value so we will substitute n value as equal to one in this case so we will get two to the power of n into k minus five by six k into two to the power of one minus one plus one by six k into two to the power of one minus two this is equals to two to the power of one into u of one so this is two k minus this will become 5 by 6 and k 1 plus 1 by 6 into k this will become 2 to the power of minus 1 so it will get in inverse and then we will get 2 and u to the and u of 1 is equal to 1 only so now we will solve this equation we will get 25 k minus 10 k equal to 24 then we will get 15 k is equals to 24 so the k value we are getting as 24 by 15 so finally what is the particular solution that is y of p of that is y p of n is equals to 2 to the power of n and what is the k value 24 by 15 this is the particular solution so now as we have got the homogeneous equation and the particular equation what was the expression for forced response this is equals to homogeneous response plus particular response so we will write this equation we got this homogeneous equation as c1 1 by 2 to the power n plus c2 1 by 3 to the power of n and we got the particular solution 2 to the power of n and 24 by 15 hence this is the forced response of the given system or given differential equation like the video if you have understood everything and subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet because it motivates me to make more such videos